In this video, I'll be talking about how to play Cripple Creek on the bass. I'm just giving some more detail about it. The first thing you need to know is that you'll be pizzicatoing and slap pizzicatoing for most of the song. However, at the end, you will need to pick it up. So you'll want your bow either on your stand, or if your stool's big enough, mine is quite um, rectangular and longer, um, so my bow fits there. Also, I don't have a stand at home right now, um, so I have to put it there. But if you put your bow on your stand, you'd probably be able to pick it up pretty quickly. It might make a little noise. You might want to set like a towel under it or something, or a rag. Um, that way it doesn't make a clicking sound. But you'll want it so that your frog is close to your frog hand. Um, I'm doing mine with my frog kind of back behind me just a little bit. Um, and that'll really help you when we get to line five. Now, um, the slap pizzicato, you can anchor on the note that you're pizzicatoing, but then you're going to have to reach your hand away and slap the strings and come back to anchor. Now, if you want to pizzicato without anchor, um, so your thumb's just kind of in the air, you can also do that. Um, I think I do anchor as I play. Yeah, I am anchoring as I play. If you'd like to, you don't have to. I mean, it would look in more like this. Actually, I anchored even though I was trying not to. Um, I find that helpful because I'm not usually a bassist, um, and if I know where my thumb is, then I know how far away to reach for each string. So if my thumb's here, oh, I know, oh, I reached this far for the A string, or this far for the D string. So for me, I like anchoring. Um, I would recommend it. In line one, we have some A string notes and some D string notes. Uh, the line goes, I guess I'll just play through it and I'll sing the notes as I go. I imagine, Mia, that this is going pretty well. So we'll just run through it. One note you haven't played as often is the B. The B is one on the A string, just like that. Line two is exactly the same, so we're going to skip over that for now. Looking at line three, as I mentioned in the video where I play through the whole song, I made a finger number error written into your part. In lines three and four, in the second half of the measure, it says one, one, two, one, and it should say zero, zero, two, zero. So we'll play through it right now. I'll do um, line three, it doesn't really matter, I'll do line three and I'll say the notes and then I'll do line three again or I'll go on to line four, I guess, and I'll say the numbers. So yeah, I'm gonna do line three with letters and then I'm gonna do line four with numbers so that you can be really sure that you understand what it is because I wrote it wrong in your part. Okay, here is lines three and then four. Now your new note on that line is G. G is two on the E string. The E string goes like this. It goes E, F sharp, G, G sharp. Those are some of the notes you have on the E string. You can also shift, um, bringing your thumb along, and you can move down and play more notes on the E string, just like all of them. But the common notes on the E string are E, F sharp, G, which you need in this song, and G sharp. Line five is the same as lines one and two, but I will play through it because I'm going to show you picking up my bow. I'm picking up my bow in measure 19, so that's halfway through the fifth line. So I'm going to play the first four notes of line five. I'm going to pick up my bow, hopefully just taking up measure 19, and then I will continue to pluck, but I'm not going to turn my bow like I usually do in Spanish Dancer. I'm going to hold my bow as usual and just reach out my finger because in line six, you're gonna need your bow hold. And if you pizzicato like we do in Spanish Dancer, you won't be ready in time for the bottom line. So I'm gonna pick up my bow in 19. I'm gonna pizzicato like this in 20, so that I'm ready to arco in 21. Let's try that. This is line five. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, B, A, and then I'm ready for the D on the bottom line. Now your pickup um, measure might be different than mine. I doubt I assigned you the last measure, but if I did, then you don't need to pluck at all. Um, and I can show you that to you right now. Um, so let me show you picking up the bow in measure 20. Here's 17, ready, go. So going on 
to the bottom line. Um, that was two versions of how you could do the fifth line. If you email me, I'll, I'll um, send you another version of that. But they're pretty similar. If you pick up your bow early enough, you can keep plucking, but just pull out one finger. Um, so looking at the bottom line. The bottom line starts with a D and then quickly goes to the A string. So we have D, A, A, B, A, rest, C sharp, D. During that rest, you should put your C sharp down. I'll show you again, bottom line. Ready, go. D, A, A, B, A, rest, C sharp, D. If you're having trouble with that, I recommend breaking down the first three notes a couple times. the B you saw me look up at my finger a second ago that's because it sounded funny to me and it turned out my B had moved down so I needed to move it back into position then you can do all five notes and you can try it again rest your she's sharp ready oh I did not have enough finger strength on that I didn't have heavy fingers let me try it again C sharp there we go. Um, so that's a little bit of info on Cripple Creek. I hope it was helpful and um, great. Uh